Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be telling you all about my uh, experience going to the Jonas Brothers concert. It was super awesome and you'll hear all about it as well as um, I'm going to be showing you my concert makeup look for that night. Uh, it's just a recreation of what I did so if you're interested in watching and hearing about the Jonas Brothers and their awesome happiness tour concert, keep on watching. So let's get started. Um, I don't have like, uh, I'm sitting in front of my window so I have better lighting. Um, so I'm just going to be using like this tiny mirror. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out, but I'm um, just going to do my best. <laughs> so I've already like cleansed my face and moisturized and everything. So I'm just going to start out with my Farsali. Unicorn Essence as a primer. And just kind of drop that on the face. I like this one because it gives like a tackiness um, to my skin and also it has like a uh, little bit of shimmer in it so it gives you like the slightest um, luminous finish I guess <laughs> the sparkle doesn't really show up that much like under your foundation or anything so like if you're not into that it's not going to be a big deal so I just like to use this is a real techniques brush um, I think it's a blush brush maybe, um, not really sure, it's a stippling brush for sure, um, but I like to use it to like rub in my primer so I don't use my hands and like, you know, spread bacteria, it's gross. <laughs> Alright, so next I'm just going to take my um, Milk Makeup Blur Stick and apply it generously like right here under my eyes, not under my eyes, but like right beside your nose, like above the apples of your cheeks. I don't really know what you'd call that part of your face. Um, but that's where my pores are like the most visible. Um, and then I'm just gonna kinda like quickly run it everywhere else. But this works very, very well. Um, like, I always have a flawless looking finish whenever I use it. And if you use that plus the blur powder, amazing. So, for this concert, I really went all out. Um, and I, like, did the whole put highlighter all over your face before you do your foundation thing. <laughs> Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I just take a dry beauty blender for this, um, and I'm using the Farsali Jelly Bean. Ugh. I need to get the new one. This one's kind of like drying out, but quick tip for that. If you do have this and you find that your jelly bean is kind of like drying out and losing its like liquidness, its jelliness, um, you can drop a few drops of like beauty oil in there and it'll hydrate. Okay. So now that my face is all highlighted and sparkly, I'm going to move on to foundation. Um, and I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Hold on, I need to find my shade for right now. Okay, so I'm using shade 2. Um, I did self-tan before I went to the concert, so I think I was using shade 5. Let me see if that's right. Yes, so shade 5 um, is what I use whenever I'm like very tan. And then like, I don't know, when my tan is worn off a little bit, then I'll go down to... 
Um, I believe all of these have like a neutral undertone. Um, the 3.75 is like a tiny bit pink, um, but it still works and looks nice whenever I'm tan. Um, I know if you use this foundation, you're probably thinking like, holy crap, um, all of those are super light shades. They are, you're correct, um, because I'm super pale. <laughs> Um, so my normal shade is two, but you know, it's fine. You embrace what you have. I like my pale skin. It's, I think it's very pretty, very porcelain doll-like. And you know what? Because I've had to wear sunscreen all my life to avoid burning, I'm gonna look young forever. So I don't know. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna do like two. tiny little pumps on the bottom of my beauty blender like this. Um, I don't want to use a ton because I don't want to end up looking cakey. Um, but while I'm beating my face, let's talk about the concert. So the concert was absolutely amazing. I don't think I have ever been to a better concert, not that I have that much experience. Let me just give you a quick rundown of what my concert experiences have been. So I think my first concert was when I was like five or six. Um, my parents took me to a Shania Twain concert. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, my parents were like super huge, which they still are, super huge Shania Twain fans. So that's what we did. Um, and then the next concert I went to was when I was in, I think the fifth or sixth grade. And I saw them at the fair and it was the Jonas Brothers. So we've like definitely come full circle. <laughs> um, and it is, I remember that was like the best thing that had happened in my tiny little life. I was so excited to see the Jonas Brothers and let me tell you after 10 years or however long that was 12 years the excitement only increased <laughs> so I did go to another concert in high school but it was like a field situation it was a country concert didn't really enjoy myself I don't really like country music it's not my favorite thing um, but I went with my friends and it was whatever I think it was to see Luke Bryan or something um, yeah, so that's pretty much the rundown of my concert experience. So I've never been to like a concert, like a big arena or a stadium or anything like that. Um, so I went and saw the Jonas Brothers at State Farm in Atlanta and that's where like the Hawks play. Um, and it's like a pretty big place. Um, so this was like quite the experience for me. Oh my gosh, how did I forget? I took Robbie to see Nick Jonas for his birthday. Um, when was it, 2016 I think? And that was at the Tabernacle in Atlanta. Great show, but very small venue. Um, nothing like what <laughs> we experienced when we went to the Jonas Brothers concert. Um, so it was, different uh to say the least but you know i've it wasn't like my first time being in a stadium like that or anything um but oh my god i cannot stress enough this was like absolutely the coolest thing that i have ever been to if you get a chance if you can go see the jonas brothers i know that they have um, sold out a of a lot of their shows and they've like added some more dates to some cities if you get the chance I'm telling you please go like I mean obviously if you're a fan because it is amazing um, I'm gonna be showing like little clips here and there um, and I started a vlog but it just I was too excited and just, it got away from me. I, I didn't end up getting it. <laughs> Good afternoon, YouTube. Hey friends, what's up? So, today is 
the best day ever. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm about to go see the Jonas Brothers. Ah! I'm sorry if that hurt your ears. Um, but yeah, I'm here with my fiance. Say hi, Robbie. Hey. And we're gonna go to, what is it called? State Farm Arena? Yeah, State Farm Arena. Previously known as Phillips Arena. Home of the Atlanta Hawks. That, that's right, right? Yeah, that's okay. right. Cool. <laughs> Um, but I have little, like, few snippets from Snapchat and, like, things that I recorded on my phone, so it'll probably not be the best quality by any means, but <laughs> at least you'll get to see what I'm talking about. Um, obviously I'm probably going to have to cut the audio for those so I don't get copyrighted, um, but, <sighs> wow, the set list was great. I think they played like 21 songs. Um, let me see if I can pull up their set list real quick. So like if you are going to the concert and you don't want to know, you want to be surprised, skip this portion of the video. Um, or you know, oops. <laughs> okay. So before I get into the set list, let me just explain to you that this concert was like a cinematic experience. I'm not even freaking kidding, okay? So they... <laughs> They really put so much effort and like thought and creativity into this tour. It's amazing, honestly. Um, I can't stop going on about it. Um, I hate that I waited nearly a month to talk about it on YouTube, but I mean, whatever, it's fine. They come in, they start with Roller Coaster, but before that, they have like their little video that plays so during the concert they had little there's like a how do I explain it so they had videos playing throughout different segments of the video to like move into different moods and kind of like give more of a story behind the songs um, that they were about to play and had like a lot of so basically like the videos were about them like reconnecting with their younger selves um, is what I got from it they had it was like all the brothers and they had like younger versions of themselves and they were like you know talking guiding playing with their younger self um, which was really cute and I think it's like fitting for them like getting back together you know um, I really enjoyed that so like and it, it really was like a movie like it, the production level was so high up there like I can't even imagine how much money they spent like doing that because it, it was so good I'm sorry if that was really loud but it was it was so good um, so like I said, they start out with roller coaster, and they like ascended from the sky. <sighs> Amazing. And then they moved on. They did SOS, cool, and then they had like another video, like it's asking what is human, and then they played their only human song from the new album. It was like. I really enjoyed the set list. It was a very nice balance of their new stuff and their old stuff. Um, which I love their new album, love their old stuff, obviously. Um, honestly, I've been playing their new album nonstop for like, God, when did it even come out? Months, I guess, at this point. Um, so then they moved, they did Strangers, That's Just the Way We Roll, Fly With Me. Then they had another video called Dreams Come True from the tape. Um, used to be Hesitate, which is my favorite song off of their new album. Um, but they, I guess it was, yes. So like, 
about halfway through Act 1. So I guess it was like, I guess about the time they did their um, third video portion, they moved from like the main stage um, down the pit, the aisle of the pit, um, to a different stage that was like on the bar. And this stage, guys, it went up into the sky and rotated. And then they had like these drone balloon things that flew around the stadium that changed colors and it was beautiful and they did a mashup of like a ton of their old songs because they only have 200 like and then they did front fan requests and that was beautiful <sighs> okay then we back to the main stage and then they did cover covers what am i saying right now <laughs> covers of each other's songs so like they did cake by the ocean by dnc and jealous you know from nick's album and look this is really cute so like my fiance robbie has like the biggest man crush on nick jonas and like he thinks he's the coolest dude wants to be his best friend and you know what i don't blame him So I'll put in a little clip of like Robbie getting down to Jonas. Jonas. Why can't I talk? No, so I'll add a little clip of Robbie like getting down to Jealous. <laughs> it was so cute, I couldn't help myself. Oh, so I forgot to mention, when they were doing covers, their cover portion, they did Cake by the Ocean. You know those little, um, like, <laughs> I don't even know what to call them, this blow up, like, people that they have at, like, car dealerships, and they, they're like, ooh. <laughs> so, like, halfway through the song, those things just like popped up out of nowhere and were like flailing around in the stadium and there was confetti everywhere. It was a freaking party, okay? It was so, so great. It was so much fun. So I'm just taking some like cover up FX powder and putting this like under my eyes. I'm gonna bake a little bit and like around my nose. Anywhere where I know like I get like super shiny and then putting it on top of my eyelids to set my concealer. On the, like my forehead and like anywhere else I did it, put a lot. Um, so, I think now we're at the point of act two. So then they have another video and it's like Kevin's younger self running through the woods chasing these little girls when he finally gets to them it's his daughters and he's like met with his older self and that was just beautiful made me want to cry i think i did tear up a little bit like it was so sweet and then they play come back to you and kevin's like on the piano playing and it, which if you don't know that's the song that he wrote for his wife so beautiful absolutely beautiful um, and then they did When You Look Me In The Eyes, I believe they did Love Bug, Year 3000, and then they had another, um, tape, another video, um, and that was called, like, Growing Up, and it kind of showed them, like, coming back together as brothers and, you know, they were like riding on rides in the carnival and stuff and it was really cool. They had another video after that and this is like the encore session. Alright, so they had their video and like fire is like blazing everywhere, right? In the video and then like fire comes on the stage. It's like, what's happening? 
y'all. I think this is my favorite part of the whole concert. Okay, so burning up comes like starts playing. And these guys pop up out of the freaking floor. They just like shoot up in the air. I wish I had a video of it. Like they just came out of nowhere. Just shot up out of the floor. What the heck. And then they played soccer and it was amazing. <sighs> Guys. Mm. It was so amazing. I was so excited. So this, the concert was, concert tickets were um, my birthday present from Robbie. I was so excited. Guys, when I found out that I was going to this concert, I cried. I cried. I don't cry often. I'm not someone who like, get super cryy like I might tear up at some things every once in a while but I don't like get cryy really um I mean even when things happen in real life I don't get like I, I'll get upset and like emotional about things but I don't usually I'm not like a crier the only time I really cry is when I get super stressed <laughs> And overwhelmed like that that's really the only time um oh sorry so I just did my blush and um, I did the hourglass what is this called the um, veil finishing powder I think no just finishing powder um, so I did the finishing powder I have this little ambient palette from them I just mixed these two finishing powders and then I did the coral coral blush um, out here and then like the purpley, sorry, purpley color like on the apples of my cheeks, which is what they recommend you do. Um, then I'm just using the bronzer that's in here. Sorry, I just like blocked that, didn't I? I just want to put in perspective for you that Robbie and I enjoyed this concert so much. Yes, he's a fan of the Jonas Brothers as well. But we enjoyed this concert so much that we were trying to figure out how we could go again. Um, we were th at, like legitimately thinking about going to Vegas and watching their show there because it was that good. So I'm just taking a light brown from the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm using that as my transition shade. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do um, with my makeup because I wasn't 100% sure on what I was going to wear. I ended up wearing this little t-shirt that I got from Target, it says Bonita. Um, it's a little crop tee and I wore it with some like high-waisted denim shorts and I had my white Stan Smith Adidas. I like curled my hair and it was it was really cute and it was a vibe let me tell you so I took a light brown and then a darker brown and put that like um, in the crease and then did a little bit of shadow on the um, outer corners so like I said I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for my makeup so when I decided I was going to end up just wearing this, because um, I was actually wearing this t-shirt when I was getting ready, it's what I had wore like that day, um, and I was planning on changing for the concert. So so I ended up just like deciding to wear this. Um, so I was like, why not just have fun with my makeup, because like I don't, I don't typically like wear colors. Um, I, tend to stick to the neutrals um, with my makeup so I was like you know what like today's a fun day I'm gonna have fun with my makeup and I'm gonna wear some colors so I kind of matched my <laughs> eyeshadow to my shirt um, I'm not sure what this color is called I think maybe it's pool I'm not 100% but this one 
So I, I'm going to put that one all over the lid. But I'm going to focus it um, on the outside because I don't want it to get too dark over the lid. So I'm just going to take this like super fluffy brush and soften the edges of that a little bit. So when you're using super bright colors like this, um, go very light handed because you can always put more but you can't take it away <laughs> um, unless you're going to just start over which no one has time for that. Um, so I'm going to go back in with that same brush and then take like the shimmery um, color that's right next to the one that I just used. So, sorry. Now I'm going to take the same brush that I used to do those um, transition shades and just go over those edges. All right, now I want to darken up the outer edge a bit. So I'm going to take a dark brown and just kind of lightly stamp that on the outer edge. Because I don't want it to get like, so my memory card just filled up. Um, so now we're back. Uh, <laughs> so I just did um, a little bit more on my eyeshadow. So I left off, I think, doing a little bit of dark brown on the outer corner. Um, so I just put like a tiny bit of dark green on top of that. And then I took my finger and put like a silvery kind of shade um, right in the m middle of my lid. So let me show you those colors real quick. So this, this is the dark green, nope, that one, <laughs> that one's the dark green, and then this shade is the one that I put in the middle. Um, then I just highlighted my brow and did some liner. So I did some black wing liner on top, and then I did the dark green and that like um, shimmery blue that I used on my lid. I did that, both of those colors, like on my lower lash line, put some brown liner on top of that, and then smudged it out. So that's where we are now. All right, so <laughs> hopefully we're not going to have any more issues. Um, where were we? Mascara. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do this quickly. Okay, so just finished the mascara. This is the eye look. Um, so I did end up wearing lashes the night of the concert for the sake of time for this video and the fact that I just don't want to put them on. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to be wearing them, wearing any today. But the ones that I used were the Velour Mink Lashes in the style Wisp Me Away. And they look like this. And I'll put a picture in of me at the concert with the lashes on so you can see what those look like on. Um, so really all that's left is I need to highlight. Um, so that day I really wanted to be seen from space. Um, <laughs> so you know we already have the whole glowy thing going on. Um, so I'm going to go back into my Hourglass palette and just use the highlighter there. So this one. And then I'm going to go back in with my 
um, Dry Beauty Blender and my Fursali Jelly Bean Highlighter. Now for my lips, um, that night I kept it pretty natural because I have all this color going on. I didn't want to go anything crazy. So I just used basically my normal stuff. Um, I did the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in the color Rose. It's a very red. And because it is so red and like, you know, <laughs> kind of bright, I went in with my MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick and just pop that. right over all right so that is the finished look this is what my makeup was when I went to the concert um, always you know make sure you use your setting spray um, I didn't do that but oh geez it's okay it's all right but um, the setting spray I do use is the morphe continue continuing setting mist I'm sorry it's gross and has makeup on it um, but you know that's life <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing what my concert look was like and hearing all about the Jonas Brothers It was super super fun. I think my favorite part um, Aside from like the concert itself was like how into it everybody was there were <laughs> Before the concert started we had people doing the wave um, Like just getting down to the DJ music and it was just it was, a, it was a good time. It was really great. Um, so if you do get the opportunity to go to the Jonas Brothers concert, I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn on post notifications so you can see more of my videos. Bye guys, have a good day.